this is the consequence of political mismanagement. The, I, don't, I, I mean, I think the American Union is flying to pieces because the notion of polity was betrayed in the 1960s. And that from since the middle of the 1960s, this has been a police state of some sort. You see, after World War II, and they kicked Hitler's ass and all that, then everybody came back full of idealism to raise families, to build America. They'd been through the New Deal. There was a modicum of social responsibility and consciousness hammered into the middle class. And everybody came back. And then uh, the American political system went haywire. And uh, basically because we lost our nerve, my generation, I'm 48, I went to the University of California at Berkeley in 1965, my generation was the beneficiary of the idea that you should give a universal education to everybody. And they discovered that if you do that, if you take everybody and make them read Plato and John Stuart Mill and Voltaire and Hobbes as we did, that, you know, you can't rule such people. They take it too seriously. They become ungovernable. They pour into the streets screaming about their rights. And so in the aftermath of the suppression of the counterculture of the 60s, it was decided that the, the goal of universal public education and the building of, in the, of a population intelligent enough to run a democracy, that would all be abandoned. And the universities would be turned into trade schools. And people would be given MBAs and incorporated into the corporate state. But no more John Stuart Mill. No more of that. And uh, the consequences of this have been to create a, a, a historyless and illiterate uh, lower middle class, where before the lower middle class was the pool of our intellectual creativity. That's where John Steinbeck came from and Henry Miller and all of the people who drove the evolution of cultural values. So, and, you know, we could talk endlessly about what went wrong in the 60s or why we were turned into a police state. But now, the impulse of those kinds of repressive states is to forestall change. And change has been forestalled in America to the point where now, when it comes, it's going to be explosive, uncontrollable, revolutionary. You know, these, these, we will be lucky to get through this political cycle ahead of us without having to hang some of these people.